Hello everyone, welcome to another fan art sculptures. We're going to be doing some painting today. Um, again, I like doing these, these videos this way because yeah, I'm not a big fan of editing. <laughs> but today we're going to be painting another sculpt of Robert Meyer Burnett. Sorry, it's not really in focus there. But we're going to be doing some painting of him. Um, I did finish Ebony Ma, for those who might be curious. Hopefully it comes into focus. I'll just do it this way. <coughs> but I did finish him. Um, if anyone else, anyone else would like one, if anyone else would like one, I do have extras. I can also paint one for you if you, care, if you would like. If you like this, but that is Ebony Ma. I'm finished with him. Agenda, what do you think of that hair? Does it look all right sculpted? I know the third party has rooted hair. I think he turned out pretty good. I hope to finish him completely one day. But as for that, we'll go from there. Again, we're going to be doing Robert Meyer Burnett today. And you get the fun get the fun music, the fun YouTube music approved. I'm assuming it's approved. It's on StreamYard, so I'm assuming it's approved for YouTube. But you get that fun music. I am going to be listening to my soundtrack, which is Spotify. There's a link down below if you'd like to listen to my sculpting playlist. Uh, either you can listen along or Yeah, it's, the link is down below, so feel free to go check out that playlist. It's a fun playlist. Lots of stuff mixed in there. Uh, mostly movie stuff, but that's what I like to listen to while I'm painting or sculpting or, or any of that fun stuff. But let's get to it. Let's get on, because I'm only going to be on for about an hour or so, so we'll start doing this right away. Um, he is primed and ready to go. It's not the perfect sculpt that I wanted, but it'll work for now. It'll be much different once it's painted. I'm going to start with my Vallejo paints. I'm going to take a um, this brown rose. basic skin tone. Actually, I think I'll use the basic skin tone because I'm going to create an under an undertone to start with everything. I didn't shake it well enough. Let me know in the comment section if the music oh, it's on loop anyways. I'll start so I'll switch it every once in a while. got a video on it. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, so I'll just take it off of there. So we need a fair amount. And then we're going to go with a touch of red. We're trying to match this tone right here. I should have done it in that one, but... Oh, not that red. <laughs> that one's busted. Oh, 
I'll use my airbrush red since it's thinned down anyways. And that's what we're looking for. So just a drop. It's gonna squirt out at me, I know it. Be why. It's probably too much, to be honest with you. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is my army painter, war paints. I have two. I really like little Vallejo paints though. dab of water on the brush mix that in yeah see this it's a lot of red um a good base coat for skin that I've noticed is this brown rose or a beige red go with this brown rose that's what happens when you don't clean up after yourself and since this is very yellow already I'm gonna take this and mix it in about the color you really want right there at least that's the one I've been using for most skin textures yeah I think I'll go with that now it's very thin so There will be at least two layers.
Unfortunately, I haven't got much further on completing this because it's been so cold outside. I can't pour plastic or pour molds when it's so freaking cold out. Every time I do get time actually to do it, it gets even colder outside, which sucks even more. I only like to do it like a couple layers, though so you can still see the gray. You can still see the gray underneath here because we're going to be doing a lot more other layers to bring out to bring out the flesh tone. And if you go too thick with your paint or too many layers with your paint, it's going to end up looking cartoonish. So. I wish I could zoom in more, but I'm using my other camera, my crappier camera, to, to record the, the painting part. I should be using my good camera, but I'm not. <laughs> Can't really tell on the good camera either, but... listening to my Spotify as well. So. dry for a minute. I'll probably take the blow dryer to it.
there's a nice, I don't know if you can't tell, but there's a nice little red rosiness to it because I'm sure living out in California, he does get lots of sun when he can, I'm sure, when it's sunny. But there's a, a red tint to it that you need for underneath. Um, most people's skin's red undertones. I'm gonna go with a light, light flesh again. Vallejo paints. This is going to be a dry brush, so it's not gonna be as thin. I'm gonna take this color I was using before. I don't want it too much lighter. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take this. some reason. brown rose. Can't find it. So what I'm just going to do is just do a really big, a really quick wash with the yellow. That's just... it down really good. This is just regular water. You can use a uh, airbrush thinner if you want. I'm not going to use this brush. It's a little too stiff. more like this one here. It's an older brush. But I just want the yellow of the skin to pop up a little bit more. So I'm just going to do a wash. Tattoo. What's up, man? Mm -hmm. 
Again, if you don't want to listen to this YouTube music, listen to this. <laughs> Link is down below in the comments section to this playlist. Oh, nice. Yep, wasn't quite ready for bed, so I figured I'd get a painting video up. You want to get every corner you can. So that it's all evenly coated. I might actually even go in with another red wash. So this is a touch of red. And this is airbrush colors. Still good paints, but not the greatest paint. So if you're just using it for a wash, that's fine. Except if you notice, I just messed up my water. I should have kept that clean. So now it's cloudy red. I don't want a cloudy red. I need a straight red. Make sure the brush is clean. There we go. That's the red I wanted. Some people do a blue wash at this point. Um, I don't know. 
don't usually use blue washes that often because then again um, I think it makes it look too cartoony it works for um, like comic book characters like if you're going for that comic book style artwork but I don't think it fits for when you're going for true realism your opinion may differ. I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's just the way I do it. You're perfectly capable, or perfectly able to do it. However you see fit, whenever you're painting, it's up to you. You're the artist, which is awesome. Great to have many artists out there. <clears throat> um, now I will start doing the dry brush. Something rounded, something like this. It's still, uh, it's still got too much of a point. Still too much of a point. Let's see what else I got over here. I think, yeah, I'll use this one here. Take that and get as much of it off as you can. And you're just going over the highlights of the face. Pretty much whatever's sticking up and out you want to hit with a dry brush. You don't want to do it too much because then again stuff will start looking a little cartoony. You can always come back and touch it up later on. If I notice this spot in his ear that I missed earlier, so I'm gonna come back in here. A lot of people will also seal their paint at this point too. Which I will do, probably. Ventilated area, I got a fan on right now. So. Something dropping, 
stuff. Just a quick layer of sealant. And we'll give that a minute or two to, to dry before we start putting more layers on. You can see the sculpt is kind of messed up right there. So yeah, we'll get as much done in the hour, in the next half hour as we can. Painting can be a long, tedious process. Can be, but it's fun. So, and then a lot of people usually let this set like overnight before they even touch it again. At this stage, which is which is cool. I can do it that way. But I think we'll go a little bit longer. As soon as it's not sticky, you'll be able to go again, which we're good. So um, we're gonna go back with this thin red, and we're gonna highlight some areas around the eyes and where it's a little more red than usual. Red highlights where they need to go. I have reference photos up on my computer as well, so that's pretty much what I'm going off of. Mostly is Instagram posts, or that's all I got to go off of, so. out on me so I gotta do this again Just hitting those red highlights. I might go in some more blues. Maybe a, a blue wash up above on his forehead a little bit. It'll pale things out some to make it look like the skin's a little paler. Okay, if you're just tuning in, we're painting Robert Meyer Burnett. Uh, hit that like button. Helps out the channel. Right now we're just doing red washes, red highlights in the skin. Where they need to go. Where you see them the most on, on Rob's face.
Definitely want to get inside the ear with the red. I haven't done a blue wash in a long time, so I might try it and see how it goes. And if, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I can just take it off and keep going. Sucks going off of uh, his Instagram post because he's usually like a very expressive. So there's usually more red where there isn't. That should be a good one. Feel free to check out my sculpting playlist on Spotify. Links in the description. Just in case you get sick of the YouTube music. YouTube friendly music. As they call it. going to do next is going to probably thin this down a little bit this color here and then do some, uh, some light flicking to break up the skin a little bit not sure if it'll come through It's the lighting in the camera. There's a lot more red to his face than the camera's showing. Yeah, the light's too bright. I mean, I can see it here in front of me, so that's that's uh, that's a plus. One day I'll get a better camera to to get on the painting side of it. Um, let's try the blue wash first that I wanted to try. It's probably too dark of a blue. I don't like the airbrush blue. I've got it right now, so. I think it'll work fine. It's super thin. I just want to go in light spots right now, so nothing crazy, just a few spots here and there. See how long. Yeah, it's not thin enough.
All right, that should be good. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> now it's right. Just a quick wash. Working like I wanted to. what I wanted to do so now I'm gonna go in some some browns perhaps for the flicking just gotta find the right brush gotta find what I do with my flicking brush change that music I wish I could play my spot of my music on here but Copyright claims. No, thank you. Yeah, about another 15 minutes or so. All right. Well, what I was going to do, I was going to thin this down. Do some flicking with that. Oh, there goes my fresh water again. Just to do some flicking and break up the skin a little bit. Do some with the red as well. see it on the camera because the camera sucks but trust me it's there then I'm going to take some of this this mahogany and do the same thing
not sure if you can see it or not. Again, that camera's really... Maybe... That doesn't help either. This camera's got a ring light on it. That's too bright. No, that just makes it look worse. <laughs> Sure, you it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, no. yeah, you won't be able to see the speckling on there. I gotta get a better camera right, for that. Um, but um, after that dries for a second or two, because it'll dry pretty fast. I'm gonna go back in with some uh, some regular flesh paints, uh, basic skin tone. <laughs> and kind of go over the whole thing with this. I try to make it look uh, textured very well. Try to make it look like skin again, I guess. Uh, it's kind of a wash. Um, it basically is another wash. So just to do another skin wash on top of that. What you just did, if you do it thin enough, it'll come right through and you'll see it. And it'll still look really good. So Actually, this stuff might be too light. Try not to do that. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna take this brush here. And just do what I was doing before with the reds and the blues. Make sure I don't have too much on my brush. hit those high, high spots again <clears throat> lightening up the high areas It's better to use the sponge or a paper towel because the oils in your hands or skin could mess up the paint.
wish I knew what happened to that sunny skin tone. Because I need to add... some yellow to it. Ah, I gotcha. There needs to be some yellow highlight to it as well, because around this eye area here. So, shake it up really good. Make sure you shake your paints. gonna do a little bit here and thin it out up here because I don't want it that's not paint that's all there we go again that playlist again It's a great album, by the way. It's great music. I'm just gonna thin that down some and I'm gonna use it as a highlight in certain spots. There's another really good one, underrated soundtrack right there. I'm just trying to check the reference photos again. a very good blending tool. It's a makeup sponge. <laughs> it comes highly recommended by me. See, I did a little, a little put too much on. So I'm gonna Put a little bit too much yellow on there, so I gotta come and bring it back up to what it needs to be. Just thin layers, you really wanna just go with thin, thin layers. I need to hit that red again, that's why I did that.
or not. I'm gonna let this red fall into the cracks of the mold or of the of the sculpt. Most of them. That's where that red is. Yes, it is blue. Yes, it is. Still looking for the right reference photo. Because all I got to go on is the Instagram, so. do it for tonight uh, not sure when I'll be doing another live gotta make more tunes on group pad and play those and stuff. <laughs> yeah well even they need our uh, attribution I think it's called so that's just a pain in the ass <laughs> um Unfortunately, that's also only available for uh, phone, Android. I can't get that on the computer. Well, I can I can sh share it, I guess. Um, again, that'll do it for tonight, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here, Blue. Shooting the shit a little bit. But Robert Meyer Burnett, at least day one, is done for now the second sculpt uh, the other one is on the body because I need to finish that this one is for whoever else wants it because it'll have the first Robert Meyer Burnett Mark 1 will have this head sculpt so um, Mark 2 have this head sculpt as soon as I finish it. Um, this one has a beard. I've shown it before. 
pretty sure it's in one of my other videos. I'm pretty sure I've had to... If you go back and look for one of the other paint videos, it's probably on there. I'm pretty sure it's on there, but yeah. This is Robert Meyer Burnett Mark II. This one's got a beard. Um, this one will come out first with the brown leather jacket. Um, gray sweatshirt with Rob observations on it. Uh, and then accessories, social media, or not social media, physical media. Um, a little figure. Uh, type 2 phaser from Star Trek. And then, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, and a chair, a director's chair. So yeah, that will be Robert Myronet Mark 1. And then, of course, I've got to finish Justin at some point. Um, again, weather's just too cold to be pouring plastic. Um, Justin, Justin's collection. Again, Ebony Ma is finished. So there won't be another video. I finished him um, off camera. So actually, I started to finish him on camera, but then I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> so there's that come on focus there's ma finished awaiting a body and, and his, his outfit but there's there's ma there's my ma the one i painted again if you would like one like this i can paint you one i have more just gotta let me know but yeah that'll do it for tonight at least uh, I might be back tomorrow I might be back definitely not this weekend this weekend's too busy um, but yeah that'll do it for me thank you for watching be safe be healthy always be kind and I'll catch you on the next one